Hey, here are two tools in the tape measure tool set that can be very helpful for defining dimensions of something to be visible. One below tape measure is called dimensions. Shocker. And so how you use it is similar to the tape measure where you click one time at a starting point, move across the length of that thing, you'll see it leaving a record of how far you've gone so far. And when you get to the end where you wanna measure and leave a record of it, you click a second time and move out away from that object. Now, because we're going vertically on this, it's gonna put a vertical line off there. Click it in place and you'll see that it's right next to my cursor, it's um, a blue dotted line, that means on Y axis. Click it in place and you've left a record that the width of this wall is 11 feet. Well, I wonder what the height of it is. Let's do that again over here. Click on that endpoint, run down the side, click a second time and let go. Now we can move out across this thing in two directions, either along the red axis or the X axis perpendicular to the building, or boop, if I move my mouse in line with the wall, I could also move on the Z axis, the green axis. So let's make this perpendicular just for kicks. And now we have the measurements of this wall in a perpendicular fashion, 11 feet by nine feet, cool. You can do that uh, all over your model if you want for point of reference, or you can also do this. Let's assume that you wanted um, this window measured, lifted up. You can also do this as well the length and the width of this window. Very similar to the building. Cool. You can also leave a record of the area of things. Like let's assume you wanted to denote the square footage of this wall. The next tool right below that is called text. It's not a 3D text tool. It's leaving some text record of information like the quantity of the area of this, or you could even type stuff into another designer like you, the architect, are handing this file off to somebody else to complete your work, finish off the colors and things, and you can leave them notes and records like this. With the text tool, you click in an area. Let's assume you wanted to take uh, the area of this wall. Left click, hold it, pull it out, and you decide how long you wanna run it out, but you're coming away from the wall and let go and it automatically calculates the square footage, the feet squared of this. And if it's really tiny, it's gonna be square inches if you're in feet and inches. 90.93 feet squared. Okay, cool, if that's helpful to you. Watch what happens when I do it inside this window pane. Aha, since this is a smaller area, just that little rectangle, it stops everywhere there's a line. So just this area of the rectangular pane, it's 48.71 squared inches. Cool, but let's assume you're not talking about the square, the area of this space, but you really wanna leave a record of, hey, I'd really like that reflective blue glass that I saw on the shelf. So just backspace, cause it's live and editable. Please, blue glass from shelf, okay? And when you click out of there, it sets it in place. It should, but it's not glitching. There it is. Cool. So there's a record of it. And as you orbit around this thing, it's going to rotate with you. So you can see it coming off the face of this at all times. What a helpful tool, both the dimensions tool and the text tool. You could leave notes about your file all around your file for another designer to use or someone else that you wanna collaborate with to pick up where you left off. Like I'm gonna do all the physical structure and you do all the finishing surface work. So that's one way to use these. We'll go through future tools, um, further tools in that um, tape measure tool set in future tutorials. Hope you guys are doing well.